In this video, I want to look at nesting lookups so that we can do a two dimensional lookup. So here I've got some dummy data. It's just delivery costs for various parts in four different regions. So we want to return the cost of delivery for whatever part number we choose. So I've got a little drop down here to choose a different part number and a little drop down here to choose a different region. And what we want is the cost. So this is two dimensional because we've got to look up the part number vertically and then look up the region horizontally and where the two meet is the cost. So there's various ways of approaching this. We're just going to have a look at three ways to have a look at this. We're going to start off with VLOOKUP. So let's start by typing VLOOKUP. So equals VLOOKUP and the lookup value that we're looking for to start with is this part number. So we click into there, that's G2, and then we want the table array. So the table array covers everything from the top of the lookup values to the bottom right. Then we want the column index. Well, the column index is what column are we going to return? So the north is column two because part, the lookup values, these part numbers is column one. So north would be column two, south column three, four, and then west column five. So we're going to do this with a V lookup. So let's put V lookup. And the lookup value is the region. So that's H2, comma. And the table array where we're going to find it is over here. I've put some extra data, which we need to complete in a moment. But we're going to start from north. We need to cover these blank ones as well, because that's where we're going to put the column numbers in. Then comma and the column index. Well, when it finds the region, it'll be column two that we want to return because the region is in column one and what we want is in column two. So let's put a two there and then a comma and this is an exact match, so we must put false. Now this is the end of the nested one, so let's close the bracket for the nested one. We've now got to finish off the original one. So that whole VLOOKUP was the column index, so we now need a comma and tell it that it's an exact match that we're looking for. And then close the bracket and press enter. Now at the moment, you'll see that we've just got value there. That's because we need to fill in what column each of these regions are. So remember, the part number is in column one. So north would be column two, then three, then four, then five. So let's put a two in here, a three, a four, and a five. And now we should get a result of 19 pound. And let's go and check this part 18 which is down here and we come across to the south and that's got 19 pound where they meet and that's the result that we get okay so that's nesting a v lookup inside a v lookup but let's have let's have a look at another method let's use a v lookup with a but with a match function this time so equals v lookup what we're looking for is the part number that's G2, comma. Where are we going to find it? Well, it's over here, but we need to cover the whole database, including all the figures. Then a comma. Now the column index, this time we're going to use a match function. Now the good thing with the match function is that we don't need that extra piece of data over on the right here. So the lookup value is the regions. So in this case, south, that's H2, comma. Where are we going to find that? Well, with a match function, you only need to highlight the data that you're going to find. So that's north through to west, B2 to E2 in my case. And then a comma, and this is an exact match, so we put a zero in there. 
Now, the problem that we've got now is that when it finds south, it will tell us that it is the second one along, so column two. But our VLOOKUP sees that column as column three, because the part number is column one, north is two, south is three, and so on. But the match will return the fact that it's found south in the second column along. So what we need to do in this case is add one to that result. So whatever the match finds, it adds one to it and we get the right number. Then we need to put a comma. Now we need to tell it that it's an exact match by putting false in there. And then close the bracket and press enter. And there you have it, the same result, but a slightly shorter function. But we did have to remember to add one to our match on this one and the nested VLOOKUPs before we had to have an extra piece of data over on the right. So now let's have a look at another method. Let's use the index and match. We type equals index and the index is asking for an array. Well, this is what it's going to return. So what it's going to return is one of these figures down here. So you only need to highlight the costs. Then you put a comma. Now it wants to know the row number. So we're going to use a match for this. So match, we're going to look up the part number first, comma. Where are we going to find that part number? Well, that's down here, comma. And this is an exact match, so we put zero. Close the bracket. Now it wants to know the column. So we use a match again, so match. What we're looking for, we're looking for the south, which is in H2, comma. Where are we going to find it? From north across to west, comma. And this is an exact match again, so we put zero in there. Close the bracket. So there's your two matches, one to find the row number, one to find the column number. That takes us back to our index. So we need, now need to close the bracket for the index and press enter and there you have it. So it, there we haven't had to use this extra data on the right and we have, haven't got to add one to our result. It's a straightforward match for the row, a match for the column and then the index tells us what we're returning. Okay, so now what we're going to do is change the part number. Let's pick a part number here, part number seven, change the region to east and that's 89 pound, they've all returned 89. Let's go and check it. Part number seven in the east, there it is, 89 pound. Hope you enjoyed that. If you found that useful, please give me the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos.